welcome to the class. So today what we're going to do is generally when you're a parent you know you spend your whole life is just turns it changes totally and it's just give 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 all the time you're always you know you're the, the coach taking the kids to the games and you're doing this and all it's it's just constant that you're giving and giving and giving out and sometimes it just makes you think well you know what about me you know and because we all need that attention ourselves but sometimes in the chaos of life and things like that the only place we're really going to find it is if we give it to ourselves so what i'm going to do is is hopefully we're going to do just a little you can do this seated in a chair it doesn't have to be seated on the floor but if you are seated on the floor i'm sat in a cushion you see i've got a cushion and that just you know lifts you up a little bit so if sitting on the floor is uncomfortable for you <clears throat> sit on a couple of cushions and that just helps support the spine or you know sit in a chair get a chair and you can do this sat in a chair but what i want to do is just do a little quick little sequence which will de-stress you it takes away where we carry our attention in our body is uh you know in the neck and the shoulders and in the back and these sort of things so we'll just do a little sequence and you can do this while you're having a cup of tea so you know if you've got a 10 minute break and you just think oh my god i feel so tense and you can do this in between you know sips of tea okay so come into being seated nice and comfy and then you want to have your hands on your knees and then as you we're going to take an inhale as we inhale I just want you to lift the chest and look up so it feels like you're opening the chest draw the shoulder blades together so you can feel the chest stretch a little and then as you exhale draw your tummy in and just roll down through the spine and lean back like this so you want to feel like the lower back the lumbar is starting to stretch draw the tummy in and then inhale but just it's like a roll where you lift the chest draw the shoulders down lift the head you're kind of closing all the back of the spine and opening all the front of the spine and then as you exhale we're closing all the front of the spine and opening all the back of the spine inhale lift exhale close Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. Inhale, come back to the center. Relax the shoulders down the back. Give the shoulders a little roll. Take a big inhale. Fill yourself all the way up. And a nice long sigh on the exhale. As you do that, just let the shoulders relax. Feel that sense of relief. And then inhale, lift the chest, look up exhale close and then roll to the right and make big circles around to the left so you're exhaling as you come back here and inhale as you come forward but just nice and slow you just want to feel all this tension in the lumbar in the lower back starting to let go if you sat on the floor as well you'll be feeling it in the hips but this is where we sort of carry that tension in the body stress because they don't get the full range of movement it's a nice little hiding place for that stress to hide so all we're going to do is just move slowly around into them areas and just by doing that it will start to release any tension and now we're going to go in the opposite direction around forward so you're inhaling as you come forward exhaling 
as you're coming back draw the tummy in and try and make them as big a circle as you can initially you'll feel quite tight and you'll be like oh, oh, oh but release that sort of mental attachment and go into how it feels and then nice and slowly just try and make that circle a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and then coming back to the center so <clears throat> we're going to take the left hand across and onto the right knee and then sit up nice and tall and draw the shoulder blades down the back so the right hand is going to come around behind me and sit onto the floor now you can take a hold of the chair if you're sat in a chair that could help you do this twist so what you don't want to do is turn like sink in the waist and try and turn like this you want to keep tall long spine and inhale as you lift and then exhale gently turn and see if you can look towards the wall behind you but again think sitting up nice and tall keep the spine long tummy in and nice big breaths so don't bounce 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 think lift and relax so on an inhale come out a little lift more and then exhale see if you can go a little deeper And inhale back around to the center close your eyes take a nice big inhale and a nice long sigh on the exhale so you release the shoulders as you exhale and then bring the right hand around to the left knee left hand comes behind or takes a hold of the chair so nice and tall tummy in inhale shoulders are moving down from the neck and as you exhale try and turn and look over the left shoulder Remember, long spine, breathe into the chest. And inhale back to the center. Close your eyes, give the shoulders a little roll, a little shake. Take a big inhale and exhale, just relax the shoulders, let any tension leave the body. Then we're going to bring the left hand down to the floor or if you're in a chair, just take a hold of the underneath of the chair or bring the hand underneath the cushion. You can sit onto your hand as well. So you bring that hand down to the floor, push into that hand, bring the right hand out to the side with the palm facing up and inhale reach up through the right hand and then fold over to the left and reach over the head with the right hand see if you can lift the gaze look up to that hand if you're on the floor maybe you can bring the forearm down to the floor and reach over the head but don't worry it's not a competition it's wherever you feel that stretch up the side body keep reaching through that right hand nice big breaths and then inhale come back up to seated exhale sigh it out right hand comes down to the side push into the floor or take a hold of the chair left hand out to the side inhale reach up and then reach over the head and reach for the wall on the right hand side if you're on the floor you can maybe bring the forearm down to the floor but keep that top arm active and reaching over the head maybe you can look up to that hand feel that stretch breathe into this big open side of the chest and then inhale come back up to the center give the shoulders a little roll out and then Bring the hands around the back and see if you can join the hands together. So once the hands are together, see if you can walk them towards the back of the chair and then squeeze the shoulder blades together, tip the tailbone down and lift the chest and lift the head looking. 
so you'll feel a lot of tension in the front of the shoulders really squeeze your shoulder blades together chest is almost pushing forward so i really feel that opening up in the shoulders head is lifted big deep breaths and then exhale release the hands and bring them all the way around to the front again so you really feel that tension in the front of the shoulders there so you can do that maybe two or three times so left hand comes down to the floor again and then the right ear wants to just move down towards the right shoulder so the right shoulder isn't coming up the shoulder stays down so maybe both hands on the floor and then just tip the right ear down towards the right shoulder and then bring the right hand over and just it's literally the weight of your arm and then this left arm you're pushing down into the floor so you're like rolling this shoulder blade down and away so you really open up all through the trapezius and into the side of the neck here so don't pull on this just let the weight of your arm gently open up and the drawing down of that shoulder maybe you can roll that shoulder back and draw it down towards the floor just to open up that stretch and then roll your chin down towards the right shoulder and again gently stretch and open that one then this left hand you can bring that up and you can just massage just up and down the side of the neck and then muscles at the side of the spine and into the top of the shoulder just while you've got them opened i mean really if you just push in and push up and down what you're doing is you're breaking up any tension that's in there and just allowing the blood flow to get moving and circulating again so it's the fact that the blood flow is finding it hard to get through that sort of crystallization in the muscle that stress causes that we you know we're not getting the energy up to the head and then release and come back to the center so hands are down by the side again left ear moves down towards the left shoulder remember try not to lift the shoulder up keep that shoulder down and then this right hand pushes down into the floor so that draws that shoulder down to the floor opening up the side of the neck through the the traps here at the top of the neck and then the left hand comes over and just the weight of your hand just to open that up and again drawing that right shoulder down to the floor you're not pulling on the head you've just got the weight of your arm you can roll that shoulder back and draw it down just to feel how that opens up a little bit more and then roll the chin down towards the left shoulder and gently draw that in again draw the shoulder down towards the floor feel how that stretch moves around the neck as you move the chin and then the right hand can come up and massage then muscles down the side of the neck and at the top of the shoulder they'll be really tight as well so you know you have to really push into them and because they'll be super tight we hold a lot of tension in here a lot of trapped energy and then come back to the center big inhale <sighs> keep the shoulders a little roll out and then this time sitting up nice and straight I just want to drop my chin down towards my chest like that towards my collarbones and then draw my shoulder blades down towards the floor so I'm really lengthening out that the back of the neck and then bring the hands over and again just the weight of your arms as you draw the shoulders down and away from the neck feel that stretch right up through the neck and this can be really tight so don't pull just relax and then bring the fingertips around and again just massage up and down the back of the neck and into the shoulders this should start to feel warm now like you've got heat around the neck and then just come back chin is level with the floor big inhale <sighs> 
So sitting up nice and straight again. This time, <clears throat> I just want to lift my chin. So I'm not leaning back. I just want to lift my chin and look up. And then you'll see this little triangle here that lives underneath your chin, around your jaw here, like this. We're just going to gently massage that area. So a lot of hormone production in that happens in here and glands and things like that. So it's good to get these stimulated. So you're not pushing your head back. You're just massaging along the inside of the jaw, this little triangle here. Just massage that. And then bring your chin level with the floor and then the hands just go to where your cheekbones come around and your jaw here, this little triangle here. Just massage there again. This is a place we carry a lot of tension, a lot of stress. And then release, open the mouth, give the jaw a little shake from side to side. And then we're just going to use these two fingers here. And we want to just, where the top of the nose and the eyebrows are, this is where we're going to start. So bring both fingers in there, just gently push in and then come along your eyebrows, coming all the way across and then to the temples and then just lightly make circles on the temples. So don't push in there, they can be sensitive, just make circles. And then back to that center point, and then we're going to push in, come up and go along the top of the eyebrows, and then make circles on the temples. And then back to the center, and this time we're going to push in, come to the middle of the forehead, and come all the way around, and then just make circles in the temples. And then back to our center point and then we're going to come all the way up and along the hairline all the way around and then make circles and then bring the hand fingers to the nose again and this time we're going to push in and come down and come along the top of the cheekbones and around and make little circles And then back to the nose again. So we're going to come down the nose, back up the nose, and then down and underneath the cheekbones. All the way around, and then make little circles. And this time we're going to come to the lower of the nose, onto the lip, and then again just push in and draw all the way around. And make little circles on the temples and then bring the hands down to the chin and you're just going to pinch the chin and while we're in the pinching the next one is we just want to go around the eyes all the way around the eyebrows just little pinch pull let go pinch pull let go. And then bring the hands down to the knees again. Take a nice big inhale. Fill yourself all the way up. Big sigh. Take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your tummy. And just take a few moments to go over what you're absolutely grateful for in your life in this very moment. Feel that gratitude in your heart space. So you might be gratitude for your life, your children, your job, whatever it is, just feel that gratitude in the heart space. So as you fill this feeling of gratitude into your heart space, your next thing that you go into, you're going in with an energy of gratitude in your body much more likely to be a positive outcome. Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye and then lower them down to the heart space and tip the chin forward. 
Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you very much. Quick, get back to your cup of tea. So I hope this is really good for, like I say, it's a little short sequence. You don't have to do all of it. You can do little bits throughout the day, but it should just, oh. Free up the energy, make you feel a bit better and give you that next little boost for whatever it is that's on your list of things to do today. So, I hope you're enjoying the course. Have a great day. See you next time. Namaste. Okay. <laughs> Keep smiling.